Uh, this one is de todos modos. De todos modos. This means anyway or anyways. Okay. Um, this is like saying, you know, anyways, not, not like, you know, sometimes in English people say anyways, you know, uh, that's not the same in this situation. It's not the same. Uh, you're pretty much literally saying in any way or anyways. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyways, literally. So for example, Let's look at the first example. Gracias de todos modos por tu ayuda. Gracias de todos modos por tu ayuda. Okay, so in this situation, someone is helping you out, you know, to find something, but for some reason, you couldn't find it. You and the person. You guys didn't find that. So you want to be polite and you want to say thanks anyways for your help. Okay. So you can use the todos modos in that situation. Gracias. Thanks. De todos modos. Thanks anyway or anyway in the situation. Por. For. Tu. Your. Ayuda. Help. Gracias de todos modos por tu ayuda. Thanks anyways uh, or anyway for your help. Okay. So this is a great, great sentence to show uh, appreciation for, you know, someone's help. And um, de todos modos, anyway, anyways. Okay. Now the next example de todos modos, de todos modos, voy a ir a trabajar. De todos modos, voy a ir a trabajar. This means I will go to work anyways. Okay? Maybe you're feeling, um, I don't know, I, I mean, you should not go to work sick, of course, but um, there are situations where you don't have any other choice, but you gotta go to work. Okay, so you're saying that you, you will have to go to work anyways, you know, there is no other way. You have to. <laughs> so de todos modos is great for that. So uh, de todos modos, you can use it at the beginning of a sentence, which is pretty cool, or in the middle. Okay. I will go, uh, sorry, de todos modos, <laughs> well, anyways, voy a... Voy a, well, in this situation, to be more precise, I can say, iré, because I know, <laughs> you know, some people will say, why are you saying voy a ir instead of, instead of iré, right? And, and you're right, just to be more accurate. Um, de todos modos, iré. Ire is a uh, future tense from, you know, we're talking about the verb ir, ire, okay, ire, I will go, ire, which I like that it's a very short verb, very short verb, and it's easy to conjugate. Um, so ire means I will go, a trabajar, to work, okay, a trabajar, to work. De todos modos, iré a trabajar. I will go to work anyways. Okay? So, once again, you don't have to change anything when using this phrase. You know? De todos modos stays the same. You don't have to worry about feminine, masculine, plural, singular. So, that's good. That's good. That's another great, great phrase to use. That's an awesome example, C, of platitudes. Tengo que hacerlo mañana, pero iba a hacerlo de todos modos. Excellent. Perfect example. De todos modos. Anyway, anyways, you know. I had to do it anyways. Tenía que hacerlo de todos modos. So it's awesome. It's a, it's a, a really good phrase for sure. 